Hey guys, Miss Emily here from E-Time. It's another public holiday in Hong Kong, very luckily. So I thought it would be a great time to jump on and discuss to share or not to share. Now that is a big question at the moment. I've seen a few articles that seem to suggest that preschool children may not be quite developmentally ready to understand the abstract concept of sharing. Now, I tend to disagree with this, and I do not quite see the logic. However, if this is your view, of course I respect that. However, I'm here to tell you the reasons why I do not think that it makes sense to not teach sharing. All right, so firstly, we have a few abstract concepts actually that we teach in school. Things like the calendar, days of the week, months of the year. These are abstract concepts. However, throughout school life and most circle times that I've seen, they are taught to children. And I feel that it does help them by first learning and memorizing the days of the week, months of the year, to finally piece together the concept and understand what it all eventually means. So this, this is a step-by-step -step understanding, not just trying to introduce the concept when they're ready and then having to learn it all. They first have a base knowledge of the days and the months, and then they can piece together what it all means when they are developmentally ready. All right, so first of all, the big one and the main one, I think, is isn't it our role as educators and caregivers and parents to aid children to progress developmentally? I really think it is. And so just because they don't understand a concept right now does not render it useless. So by going through the act of sharing, for example, they will understand the process of it, they will begin to understand the feelings of it, and just because they don't understand the meaning of it at this moment, it will help you to explain to them what the importance of sharing is. So for example, uh, your child may be at school or at a play date, and maybe they want something that their friend has. Now, you obviously explain to your child, let's ask, may I please have a look? And your child is given the toy. The friend has shared with them. Of course, your child's going to feel these positive feelings because ultimately they got what they wanted and their friend shared with them. So they're going to piece this together with a positive feeling. On the other hand, let's say the friend does not want to share. Your child's then going to feel these negative emotions because they didn't quite get what they wanted. And of course, their friend did not share with them. Now, that would be a great time to really explain to your child, if they are feeling those negative emotions, to explain the importance of sharing. And again, in the future, if the roles are reversed and your child is unwilling to share with their friend, you can look back at that past time when your child had those negative feelings and explain, this is why we share, because we want to have our friend having good feelings too, you know? We're going to have something back in return, and remember that time your friend shared with you, you had those good feelings. And if you don't share with them, of course, your friend's going to feel those bad feelings just like you did. All right, secondly, sharing is generally a nice character trait. And is that not something that we're trying to encourage from our future generations? Things like empathy, kindness, generosity, thoughtfulness. I'm pretty sure if you had to ask any parent, that is definitely something that they would expect from their child as they are growing. And so it is important from our role to teach them this from the start. I believe teaching things like manners and social interactions should be done early on. All right, now if you're in the same boat as me and you think that sharing is really important, there are a few things that you can do at home to encourage sharing from your child. Firstly, it's really important to always practice sharing. Now your child does not even have to be aware that they are sharing with you, but you can verbalize it so that it does somewhat go inside as they are doing it. As an example, if your child passes you something, you can just verbalize it by saying, oh wow, thanks for sharing with me. You may also want to make them aware of it and ask them to share things with you. If something's out of your reach, you may ask them to grab something for you and ask them to share it with you. And always remember positive praise when this happens. Even if your child passes you something without you asking for it, wow, thanks for sharing with me. Now, if your child is finding it a little bit difficult to share at home, something that could you could try, that you could introduce, is some form of a timer. Now, this could be like a stopwatch, or it could be a sand timer, which is often used in preschools. And you would like to keep the time to a minimum, something like two minutes. And so, if they are not willing to share, you may get your timer out. Okay, you may play with this for another two more minutes and then we're going to share with our friend. Now this is a great visual cue for your child and of course, in the end, helps with them to understand the concept of 
also time limitation, and of course, sharing with their friends. Last of all, you may wish to set aside a few special toys or items that your child does not share. Now, that does not mean that they are just refusing to share things because we are going to avoid the situation of needing to share the items. So these special items could be something like a teddy that they sleep with, perhaps a pacifier, a dummy, or some other kind of special item that really they hold close to their heart. And you can explain to them that this is just their toy. They do not have to share it with anyone. However, if you do have a play date or if you do go out, your child should leave this toy at home in their room to avoid someone else asking to borrow it. Now, this will help your child to understand that there are some things that are just theirs. They do not have to absolutely give everything to everyone. However, we're going to avoid the situation where somebody does ask to use it. So what are your thoughts on sharing? Join the discussion or send me an email at emily at erringtonhouse.co.uk. Chat to you again soon. Bye.